next question is how old are you? <laughs> how old am I? We're both uh, in our mid thirties and late thirties. Are you mid? Me is in your thirties. Me in your twenties. Oh, sorry, twenties. <laughs> Yo, what up people? Hi guys. How you doing? Yeah. We hope you're well. Uh, today's video is about what? The questions you've asked. We're yes. just answering a few of the questions that some of the viewers have asked and yes. Instagram followers have asked yes. us. Zingine mm -hmm. is several times over and over. Yeah. Zingine, yeah, so we'll answer. See Mingi Sana. But I think it will be a bit long. But anyway. Yeah, these conversations carry on. Yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll go through each and every one of them. Even the ones that uh, have been repeated, we'll just reference them. Mm -hmm. And so, ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, question number one. You wanna read? Yeah, what you and your wife do. And two people asked. This question. Yeah. What are professions? Actually, three. There's someone. Oh, three. Oh, okay. So who goes first? You go first. Okay. So I am a procurement specialist. What does that mean? So I pretty much spend money. I purchase uh, anything you can think of, like supplies and services, um, and just making smart decisions concerning uh, money taxpayer dollars mm -hmm. and so that's my job so just spending money and there's a lot of laws that are associated with purchasing mm -hmm. and so that's my job studying the laws and spending money uh, while following the laws yeah. so yep that's my job so what I do yeah um, I am a photographer oh yeah I am a, a yeah, I'm a photographer, mm -hmm. I'm an artist. Good one. So so I do a lot of things. Yeah. I actually do a lot of things for money. Yeah. Yeah, so Grand Hustler. <laughs> I mean the word Chief Hustler. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Kijina Hustler. Oh you don't want that? Mm -mm. Mm. Bo girl boss. Oh okay. Okay, okay. Hustler, okay. hustler. Yeah. Mr. Kijina Kaiser. Yeah. Mini, mini boss, babe. Oh, okay. oh, oh, oh. Girl boss. Yeah. Okay. Our wife okay. boss. Okay. So, no. Okay. So, me na fananga bitu mingi for money, for, mm -hmm. for an income. So, I'm a photographer. Yeah. I'm a mask maker. Mm hmm I'm an artist. Yeah. Eh, me baki tu kuimba kwa concerts. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I make crafts mm -hmm. for money. Yeah. To me, the seven crafts. Yeah, that's it. To me, I use a panel. You're artistic, yeah. You. Yeah. You're very good with uh, your hands mm -hmm. and your uh, eyes. Like mm -hmm. your your visual is really good. You can look at something and articulate it with way better than me so yeah like even when we take pictures I'll think that a picture is perfect and she'll point out the many mistakes that I made and so I really you know give her uh, better give it up for to half of that yeah so. and 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 Siko all the way perfect as in Siko really good at photography what happened me we came to I came to the US Nilikuwa na work na Ben Kiruthi, my brother and my sister, Galani Kiruthi and my brother, mm -hmm. Michael Mwathi. So we used to work together. Alafu, when I came to the US, so I knew Kidogo photography due to Kotunafana, all the weddings together. So when yeah. I came, Nika find a community, Kenyan community, yenye Kidogo ilikuwa na draw what I was doing before. Mm. Somehow, I don't know how. Yeah. So they kind of knew. So one day, 
there was a wedding ilikuwa inapangwa rorasio mm -hmm. nikapata call from a committee ikaniambia okay, uh, we have this rorasio coming soon yeah do you mind taking photo photos of the rorasio and I was like hey, yeah you guys know mm -hmm. i did photography so you can find out oh kumbe people no, I do photography and I did it. Yeah. You can't. You're kind of thrust into it. Mm. But I, I really think that's your calling because you... No, art yeah, is my the, calling. The, the art field. Yeah, so... Because every, mm -hmm. every time we go to any store that has anything crafty, fabric, I'm always like, okay, gotta find a bench <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> I am home. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. that's that's what we do and um, actually you have a shoot this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. So Yeah, so everybody living where we live, if you know where we live. Yeah. Hit her up if you know. Oh, oh other states in the US you can yeah. call us. We'll come. We we are traveling photographers, we travel, yeah. we like to travel. Yeah. So wherever you are, yeah. If you're having a wedding yeah. this winter. <laughs> We yeah. type longer weddings. It's, uh, no, some people still do weddings in the winter. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, fall. Yeah. Wedding this fall. And we're not. Do you say we're both photographers? I'm like, <laughs> what's the name of the guy that carries the golf bag? <laughs> caddy. I'm, I'm the photographer caddy. <laughs> <laughs> My work is to carry everything yeah. and drive and just stand there and give her the support so. yeah but somehow i get confidence monkey akiwa so like oh, yeah. if you're going for a wedding mm -hmm. or if you're going for shoot yeah mazishi rorashio yeah. whatever yeah. birthday i want monkey to be there uh -huh. somehow i get the confidence when you kept a do you think i used to work with kina ben mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. so so nataka my husband with me mm. so yeah so that is what we do but yeah. kind of other two things we do on the side but yeah yeah basically there's a lot that, of is, things on the that side. is what we do yeah. that is our profession yeah but uh we we're not close-minded like we are very adventurous yeah. and will not back down or uh, hesitate at trying something new so yeah so yeah. Kuna, kuna an app called next mm -hmm. yeah neighborhood actually yeah. by amazon i think but yeah. near jeff bezos yeah. so mtu kiposi kitu kama anataka kukatia nyasi yeah. we are willing to do oh, it yeah. oh, for, yeah. for 100 dollars mtu anataka kukatia nyasi na hata si please kubwa oh we are oh, coming yeah. for <laughs> oh yeah mtu anataka kutolewa weeds just a few weeds with juice na tosha just the other day my neighbor this this house yeah. he hired a company to come and clean his car and I was working on my computer and I looked out the window and I saw this van and two people got out they were cleaning and I was like that should have been me yeah so I need to have a conversation with him and tell him hey next time you need a you know, car clean yeah let me know yeah. I'll do it so yeah we open we open to do any 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 hustle any, you know? yeah yeah so so yeah, at least you can't to QS time to watch TV. Like when I'm trying to attack a cutie on Yasi. Yeah. Like when I'm trying to attack a. What else? You know, just anything. Uh, any services that. Yeah. Like, Could have many apps as a job. Yeah. A few things people yeah. can do. And also in Ecclesiastes, it says, "Sow your seed in the morning, and in the evening, do not let your hands be idle." So that's one of the verses that really motivates us. Yeah. Like, uh, so after. I'm done with my job. I pursue other interests because uh, procurement, yeah, it's a good job, but I I don't think that's my calling, and so I don't think that's my purpose in life. And so while I'm not at work, I pursue other interests so that I can f more freely control what I want to do. So. Yeah, I don't Seven businesses. Oh, yeah. I don't know what that verse is. Ecclesiastes. Oh, okay. I think chapter. Iko somewhere. Yeah. Chitawa ndikia. Okay. The two verses are pachini. Ili okay. mjue ju. Kuna verses na support. Doing. More than. Yeah, more than one business. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Question number two. I'll read it. 
First year of marriage, highlights and lessons. First year of marriage, that was last year, right? Yeah, last, last year. year. Yeah, mm -hmm. so last year. Uh, I'll go first. Yeah, I think you went fast. No. Oh. You, you will go fast. Oh, I'll go fast. Maybe. Oh, okay, okay. But it went fast. Yeah, the year, first and foremost, it went by fast. Mm -hmm. uh, given uh, that she was coming to the States for the first time, mm -hmm. and given that this was the first time we were living together, so that transition. Uh, you know, getting to learn each other and spend time with each other. It, really, time goes by really fast. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the one thing. Uh, what's another? No, the highlights are some lessons you've learned. Oh, lessons. Highlights, highlights. Hold on, there's two things. So that's highlights, okay. Meaning it's my highlights to my travel. Okay, that's my highlights. Your marriage. Yeah. We traveled. Yeah, traveled a lot. A lot. Yeah. So yeah, to several states. Yeah. Thanks to Mongi's job. Yeah. Yeah. So. And. Uh huh. Yeah. And we had good adventures. Yeah. yeah tried different restaurants. Yeah. Oh, they had different restaurants. Yeah. Different states. Yeah. Mm. Going home for Christmas, man. I look yeah. forward to going home for Christmas. Yeah, if you got to one of the highlights was she got to see snow. Oh yeah, time. I got to see snow. You yeah. last year. Was it in Chicago or Boston? I think it was Chicago, the Chicago. first time you saw snow. Yeah, Chicago. Yeah. To the first time to learn for Christmas, I could call snow, I yeah. snow. Yeah. Ata kidogo, ata kuku, ata ikumagika. Mm -hmm. Then Nika took to Chicago after a few months. Yeah. Chicago cook a snow one night. Yeah. But it's quite just one night. I love to look on piles of ice. Yeah. Any snow belly? Ice night, small ice. Like pile of ice, candle. Yeah. Isha shavali wa min ko apan ki ki excited. I'm saying snow for the first time. Yeah. But yeah, today she was state in Anga snow. See all the states is gonna snow actually. Me see ko na juwa ivo before I came. It's one of those things. I thought America gonna snow. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, until Nika Kong actually until Nika Kong Gelasho can be no coco snowing. Yeah. That's yeah. how I like it. In the south. Yeah. So it's nice south. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Uh highlights ni oh. ni yo. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I can't think of any of the highlights. Uh I mean, yeah, just the moments. The first moments like her first snow. Uh, uh yeah. So such things like her first time at that diff uh, like Raising Cane's, which is a restaurant that she loves, mm -hmm. her first time uh, uh, visiting a new state, you know, like most of them are like first time this, first time that. So those are the highlights. Yeah, uh, but I think all the states to visit Ujaenda uh, before. No, actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. So like, I had been to Illinois, Chicago, oh, but it was a stopover, so I never ah. actually got to see. This is a day again. Yeah. So uh, to me, that's the biggest highlight because I really. I uh, oh, wanted yeah. to visit Chicago for a long time and I told the Lord that I really wanted to visit Chicago. So the fact that I got to go with her, that was definitely the biggest highlight mm -hmm. so far, I think. It was fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I think it's done this Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then we got lost. We parked our car somewhere yeah. and we walked and walked and walked and we couldn't find it. And the cold, so it was kind of hard to think. Yeah, so, snow. yeah. so that was a, a highlight, <laughs> us being in this situation. And she actually helped find directions. Find direction, it was, if it wasn't for her. So it was, it was really um, a test. And streets is not banana. Yeah. Kuna baridi. Yeah. Because Chicago has really tall buildings. Yeah. And then there's a lake, I think it's Lake Michigan. And so when the wind blows, it's stuck between this really tall building. And so it's constricted. And so when it hits you, it's like, man, you're like, where did this wind come from? <laughs> <laughs> and so, but it was really, really worth it. When we found the car and we were in, we were just laughing. And yeah. Yeah. So such moments. As I did it for so long, but I got to go to Nanzakusema to Kifika Kwagari, to Taipak Mahali, to Lale Kwagari, to Rudi Baktu. Did you go to my drive? 
like two, two hours. hours. Yeah. Two hours. In the Tufika town near Chicago. Yeah. So to me scare Baridi, I'm late. Yeah. To love Kira uh uh. Yeah. To Tafika, to park Mahali, to la like a parking lot. Yeah. So Jua Baridi will come to us a man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but anyway, it'll go fun though. Yeah. It'll go really fun. Alright. Mm-hmm. Another thing is uh, lessons. Oh yeah, lessons. Uh we we had a lot of disagreements. Yeah. Yeah. So our first year of marriage we had lots of disagreements because uh she's coming with her idea of doing things, I'm coming with mine. Mm-hmm. And so there was like a friction. Yeah. Yeah. And what do you have to say about that? Um background me can to say many background mm-hmm. you affect what to yeah you you could affect in marriage as in you don't know a t you think when you come to a mari- into marriage yeah. you think melelewa ni ni wote pamoja but ukifika ndio una realize mm mm melelewa this way and yeah. we may grow up this way so it's different mm-hmm. so when we come together yeah kuna lots of friction kuna kuna wewe vile ameambi wangu umekukiona this na yeye ameona this anafikiria this is the right way to do something and this is the right way but me what i've learned ni mm-hmm. the biggest lesson i've learned yeah, yeah. respecting your husband mm-hmm. oh. oh yeah yeah but yeah mm-hmm. after so many ni ni mm-hmm. as in kuna mtu kwa anajua vitu ti uko na this idea sio unajua mm-hmm. but submission niki too important na respect ni your husband mm-hmm. me jumi ni mjuaji as in for real <laughs> <laughs> yeah me ni mjuaji mimi na juanga nafikiria anga anajua things some things mm-hmm. so yeah you know the one thing ni melan yeah the one important thing ni melan mm-hmm. respect respecting your husband ah uh-huh. respect Lessons. Submission. Uh, lessons. Had. Yeah. <laughs> Mine. Uh, I think for one I learned that I rush too much. Uh, which I could I could justify, but <laughs> when I think about it deeply, because I'm very introspective, so when I'm criticized I like to when do I feel like to defend I like to go back and sit down and actually try and look at it from the other person's perspective yeah and I realize that sometimes I miss out on moments because I rush too much and so she helped me see that so for instance if breakfast breakfast utakani kukula wakati wa kachini tukienda tubebe take away sisi <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. So like when we're driving somewhere, I'd rather we bring breakfast so that we go as we eat it. That way we're killing two birds with one stone. But she would rather we sit down, yeah. we eat, we finish, and then we go. And I feel like it takes so long, but I've been forced to adjust and so she helped me see that. Uh another thing of which uh-huh. as in attack on gets up on attack some that you know like the background thing in it nanga kusu you see see growing up to go to a breakfast for moja to catch ni to go to breakfast for moja yeah so akuna ku rush hata hata ndio like dad aende kazini lazima amalize breakfast alafu aende yeah hata kama kunaenda aje lazima amalize breakfast kwa tume catch ni alafu aende yeah see twende twende so for me ni funny that niki come I took away like the first year mongi alikuwa anaenda kazini mimi niko like nime make breakfast early in the morning ni 6 am whatever time early very early in the morning before ni pata job ya kwanza so niko nime make breakfast nataka tukachi ni tukule matina nataka kwenda kazini yeah mimi niko like what tukule breakfast pamoja mimi nimeamka this early then we make breakfast tukule but hey i think we are different to background culture yeah, yeah. yeah not even that mm-hmm. like uh so my life what well, before she joined was i'd go to work anytime like four o'clock in the morning five o'clock like 
5 o'clock was the latest. So <coughs> I was a super early person because I would wake up, uh, grab breakfast, go to the car and eat it while I drive, mm -hmm. go to the gym, work out, go to work. And so when she came and she's introducing the idea of let's have breakfast, I'm like, but this is the time that I, I'm usually done with my workout and I'm heading to the office and I'm sitting on the table eating. So I didn't, it took a while to adjust. Yeah, so. but to be fair, to Nafanyanga Zote Mbili, sometimes we have breakfast going wherever we are. Yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah. we sit down. Yeah, it's funny balance. Quarantine, inafanya whatever, inafanya to kill breakfast for more Oh yeah, because I have no excuse. Mm, no, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> So, yeah. so that's been one of my lessons. Uh, lesson number two is um, actually uh, so his when before we got married, I used to study a lot on marriage and relationships. And man, I used to talk to friends. Ernest Tomboy is a good friend, and I read so many of his blogs. And so I read so much. And I had this idea of being a husband and a man. And when she came in, she brought a different idea. Like, let's say, for instance, in my mind, I had an idea of doing something. Let's say, investing money. And then she comes in and she has a different idea. At first, I was very rigid and hesitant to change. But then, after we we once talked to uh, uh, a guy mm -hmm. who was a, an advisor, and he told us to always glean off each other first. So, so instead of bringing ideas from the outside and trying to implement them, share them together, yeah. and then see if they make sense for you. Mm -hmm. And so when I did that, I realized that she had even better ideas than ideas I had gotten out there. And so one of the lessons was I learned to let her take control of things that she's good at and then I take control of the things that I'm good at and that way we both give 100% and the things we're not good at we help each other. So mm -hmm. that's been a journey but it's something very important that I learned. I don't have to control <clears throat> everything. So that was a big lesson for me because as a man I felt like I have to hold this wheel and you know, yeah. so that like was in charge of killer department. And yeah, I want to take finance. Yeah, or take take nini evil evil. Yeah, yeah. So that as was in, my lesson. I think the only reason why ni apopa finance ni 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 because like we na sema to take in this account. Yeah, we na sema to invest apa. Yeah, ni juo le konga na as si bad ideas ni actually good ideas ni vile pi ame me ni le konga na. Like me, ni me study finance, mm -hmm. na CPA. Yeah. So pia ni dikonga ni me study, like ni me go to school for ISO. Yeah. So ni kona these things na juu about finance. Yeah. Alafu na kujana na mumbia, na ya me do all this research. Yeah. Dave Ramsey. Yeah. Ame read books. Yeah. So apo pia like to invest up, na mi na fikira to invest up. Yeah. To invest G Kenya. Mungu na sema to invest. Yeah, but niku niku jua where you're strong at. Yeah. Na wewe chukue hiyo, alafu mwingine achie hiyo nyingine. Yeah, Fanye yeah, ili msi kongane. Definitely. Yeah. All right. Number 3. Uh continue from where you DM Shiro. Yeah, oh man, that would be a long story. Yeah. So we have to do a separate yeah, well, I think we'll do video another for video this. for that. Yeah, we'll do a separate video for that cuz yeah. it will be too long. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. many months of DMs. Yeah. No, but DMs Alicia I love text. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh the next one is the weight. The weight. So yeah, like y'all know, uh Shira and I abstained from uh sex. Oh they don't know. Oh they don't know. Okay. Like well know. in case you you don't know, Shiro and I waited and waited uh before we had sex. And so the weight talk about it. Uh, and I think two people asked this. Uh, yeah. No. There is the weight and hardest part about waiting to have sex. So for us, we were in a long distance relationship. Yeah. I was in the US, you were in Kenya. Mm -hmm. 
and so that helps a lot. Yeah. And uh, we started talking when we were already apart, and so we both knew that that was something that was a no go. So yeah. it was set up front, you know. And so when I visit Kenya, or every time I would visit Kenya, we already knew, we had already made plans in place. So for instance, we would go to restaurants, we would spend uh, time, like a night, we would be either in public. With family. Or with family, yeah. We had family in the house. Yeah. And so yeah, it was fine. easy. I think, to be plus, honest. Plus, Mwangi Kikam Kenya, it yeah. was 30 days. To yeah. 30 to 27 days. 27 to 30 days. Yeah. So, E time yote, anataka kufanya, anataka travel, anataka kuzunguka Kenya, anataka yeah. kufanya all these things, maybe to Russia, maybe all these things. We had so much. Na pia a proposal, ni 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 ni, it is hot, eh? Yeah. Ziko in 30 days. Yeah. So need so much to try to squeeze in all these things. Yeah. So Atta, like Atta, skumbuki. Yeah, plus my mind was not even there. Like, Atta, really? The fact that we it's, talked about it yeah. so much. And, and Ali. We, yeah, and Ali in advance. Yeah. It was like, it's like when you're given a warning about something for so long, mm -hmm. so your mind already shuts that idea out. Yeah. So and so it made it easy for even for us to interact without even either of us thinking about that. Yeah. It would be different if one person had the idea and the other one didn't because one would tempt the other. Mm -hmm. But now we're both on the same page. Yeah. So that uh that that's how we, we yeah. managed to uh wait until uh the wedding. Yeah. Now for all like other conversations in to have mm -hmm. Ziliko so like not there. Oh yeah. Paka. Man. I remember like ninety percent of calls in the Nilko na have na Mwangi, mm -hmm. Imani was there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Imani was there the whole <laughs> as in that's how at our minds were not even there. Yeah. Eh, like maybe every now and then like humans, maybe oh, now yeah, and then a thought comes but yeah. I I don't at a skumbuki like Yeah. At having to struggle with uh-huh. Def it was definitely not a struggle, honestly. Mm -hmm. For me, at Amimi... Yeah, I mean, you would, for me as a man, I would definitely like, think, oh man, I can't wait. But it wasn't like, where we're talking and I can't listen to what she's saying, it wasn't. Yeah. yeah. Plus, mm -hmm. if you know, you have unangoja mbaka marriage, you just know, you just don't even figure about it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. You get adjusted to that environment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Uh, challenges of long distance relationship and also have one for long distance which is why well, you both in a long distance relationship and how <laughs> so we'll answer those are two separate questions but there how did you handle it see and how and how did oh you and how it? did you handle it oh okay so how did we handle long distance first of all we were, oh. we were both in a long distance relationship oh yes yeah yes yeah, so I mean, tricky yeah as in see tricky ni were you both in a long distance yes we were both in a long distance because if yeah if he's in a long distance relationship then you are automatically yeah so automatically uh -huh. we, we were both in a long distance yes. relationship so how did we handle it handle it yeah not challenges uh how did we handle it lots of communication calls all the time calls all the time every yeah. day actually yeah i'd be i'd hook up my car to the bluetooth and Man, I used to drive at least 45 minutes to and from work, and so we'd talk the whole way, mm -hmm. the whole way. During lunch, we'd have a Bible study on Tuesdays. Yeah, Wednesdays. Wednesdays. Mm -hmm. So Wednesdays was Bible study, and I would have to have a plan for mm -hmm. what we'd study, for Bible yeah. study. So sometimes, just before lunch, I would have a notebook, and I'd write down the scriptures for today's topic, <laughs> and sometimes I'd send her the topics are be like read over this yeah we're gonna address so, it during bible study yes yeah, so, so my little hebrews chapter mm -hmm. one back, the whole chapter yeah so many could read in a bible and a notebook on wednesdays so yeah for a bible study every yeah. wednesday yeah challenges network no oh, internet yeah. i mean yeah internet bundle squisha internet icky hang all the time yeah oh meaning you know uh time time like i'd be on lunch and I have yeah. a call to do something. Yeah, plus lunch time. Like, 
it, oh, it was at night. It was usually it used to be eight o'clock. Yeah. Eight or nine, depending, because the clock changes time here. Yeah. So, so I think nine. Mm -hmm. They will call lunch time. Yeah, call eleven. Yeah. Alafu. Usiku kitokea, ajioni kitokea, mm -hmm. nilikuwa bado awake ni kingo jo tokea. Oh man, yeah. So ni around maybe 1, 2, 3 a.m., 4 a.m. Yeah. Actually nilikuwa na bad sleeping pattern. Oh yeah, Na juanga bad sleeping pattern in a, in a reducing years of as a life. Oh man. But anyway, nilikuwa na the worst sleeping pattern for like a whole... And a I whole tried to tell her not to. I yeah. tried to tell you not to, but yeah. you didn't want. Yeah, but... Hey, kila mtu alikuwa anambia endo kalala, endo kalala but at a sleeping pattern yangu kwa in, in my head ilikuwa sharibika so yeah yeah so time ilikuwa different time difference ilikuwa mbaya yeah na match na kwa na stay awake for me at 2 am at um, nimeamka 2 am yeah, hata kwa ni saturday oh man what na kwa anapenda kwa early uh, i like to go i can wake up early but also go to bed early yeah, so. so it was tough. Plus, I, you know, waking up at four, there's no way I could stay up till midnight and wake up at four. So, yeah, yeah. A lot of challenging, you know, not having your partner happen. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, yeah. you know, when you go somewhere and uh, like, and people bring their spouses, <laughs> yours is uh, on the phone. <laughs> Yeah, so. I'm gonna keep you interesting when I talk when I share the other. Yeah. Oh, this nice place you went to. Yeah. So the challenges, but the, they build up to something even bigger. Yeah, do you yeah. need funds communication? Oh, definitely. Do you, definitely. That's all we had. Yeah, exactly. So communication, nine akonga important in marriage. So yeah. You need funds are that. Mm -hmm. So, how did you handle it? Uh. To share some. Yeah. We handled it by just communication. Yeah, calling each other every day. Yeah. Every day. Next question is, how old are you? <laughs> how old are we? We're both uh, in our mid thirties and late thirties. Are you mid? We think our thirties. We think our twenties. <laughs> oh, sorry, twenties. <laughs> We're both in a. We're back in thirties. I'm, I'm late twenties. She's kind of like mid-ish twenties, right? I just dreamy me down in Yeah, she's approaching me. To we are we are between. Is someone between what and what? Yeah. Between twenty-five and thirty. Yeah. Me and Nicole willing to be in young Martin wasn't willing. So me. <laughs> so why you at twenty between twenty-five and thirty? Yes. Yeah. New in the U.S. Getting to the U.S. Getting new. Imani kwa getting stroke new in the U.S. Mm -hmm. So you know me nini. How I got, how, how, how is my experience? Yeah. In the US? Yes. So, the whole story. I think they're asking, yeah, as a new, uh, as an immigrant, how is life for you in the US? I think that's what they mean. Okay. Yeah. Since you're new in the US. I'm still new. Fairly new, yeah. You go one year and? One year. Cool. And a couple cool. months. Cool. What month? When, cool. when so May. June, July, one year, eight months. Yeah. Yeah, so Nico, one year, eight months in the US, so I'm still kind of new. Mm -hmm. So, US for me, as in Vlenili land, when I got here, um, I think Siku feel culture shock for the first, like, I think one year. Mm. Siku really? feel, yeah, I don't, I don't remember wow. feeling at it. Yay, Sijayona, mm -hmm. Sijayona, I think until. She does all Bobby. Man, when I, my first year, I was like, everything was like, <gasps> what? What? Man, everything was like a lot of In Kenya, Ukishi Nairobi, you mm -hmm. very exposed to things, to V2, like kind of like US plus social media, plus movies, mm -hmm. plus. So the first year, I equal like, I don't think, oh, the first few months to say, I'm not going to say, I'm going to feel any culture shock. 
like nilikuwa na feel like nikaa niko Kenya mm. hata nilikuwa naambia my sister that every time when i go to bed na feel kind niko Kenya until nifungue window nione mzungu akipita nikawa like oh <laughs> siko Kenya niko US <laughs> yeah like in my head siko at US oh, man. for a very long time so as in but immediately vile nililanda vile tuliland tukalala the first thing in Indiana be different ni the fact that tulala kwa hotel the first place ndio tulikuwa in another city before to come uko home so vile tulala the first thing it quite different mm-hmm. ni the fact that to order food mm-hmm. like hotel iko na food yeah. so tuka order food ikaletwa na delivery guy until mlango ya hotel ya was different for me mm-hmm. alafu the next morning tukiamka for breakfast that was breakfast but man vitu zenye zina taste siju ya oh i remember taste vitu vitu ni di- as in kuna the same things kuna mayai kuna maziwa kuna yogurt mm-hmm. kuna fruits apples bananas the same kuna all these things ni same muffins the new ushas za kula but hakuna yenye na taste ka ya Kenya <laughs> like size ni shaza ya kila kitu na kulanga but hakuna kitu ilikuwa na taste so nilikonga na feel like peta tu nikae nja bana fikira ndakaa nja for the next paka yeah. nirudi Kenya siezi i need to eat something niko na sikia kanta ya at i think niko na video ya i think i made a video yeah i think there's a video ya aki niko na feel like i want to go back to kenya but it was just like zile za chakula ni the one thing do the night before to go kula pizza pizza pia ilikuwa na taste funny ilikuwa na smell ilikuwa na nakakumbuka kwa smell at mm-hmm. size and i think you don't really spend the pizza anymore wow so i didn't know that <laughs> yeah, kulikuwa na kasimel kwa pizza, mm-hmm. alafu pizza ya Kenya zilikuwa zina mpaka saa hii me stuck in nataka tu pizza ya Kenya oh. from now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So like food ilikuwa na taste but I think saa hii nime nimesha zoea taste. Mm-hmm. Yeah, na nilikuwa nashanganga nikiwa Kenya mbona watu wako na Royco, mbona watu wako na Royco? Mm-hmm. Ni juu wana try kutafuta the taste ya Kenyan food. Yeah. Wanataka azinata siku mawiki it is the same mm. single i feel like for me the ugali <clears throat> ugali is not the same the ugali it is the mm-hmm. same maziwa it is the same yeah. ugali it is the same mayai oh mayai na distingi kwanza kwanza nilikuwa na akmit colleague alikuwa na coming mm. break room so kuna mama break room so na come break room mm. na lunch yake ni mama mayai mm. oh god smell mm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, we too but with time una zoya just so that we'll have breakfast to take pula mayai, uta eat bake, uta una zoya too. Oh, another thing. Yeah. I think another thing for you mm-hmm. you told me was uh ukikuja huko uko na joy your black. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uko na joy your black. Yeah, yeah sure. ni, ni, but ni we come to the realization that I was black after yeah. after like maybe a year. Yeah, very important. Yeah, ni ukikuja una join the African, una join your Kenyan, me I'm Kenyan until until after a while mm-hmm. once you come out and down and strike with like me I'm too and anaangalia away. Yeah. Una try una unakaribia mtu unaona amekuangalia weird au anatoro ndio una realize by the way i'm black yeah yeah as in i think ni one you <coughs> today she can and one of those things then hata uko ifikiria sawa una joy you're black you know you're black but it's not at kitu we talk about a lot it's not at atuko in africa you're not at in a struggle yeah au in yeah so umezoea tu kwa black na uko sawa kwa black na until once kuna certain behaviors nafanywa around you yeah. na <clears throat> every time kwa news unaona like shootings and all and the plight the plight of the yeah, black people black people yeah. ndio na kuhit na realize oh i'm black yeah eh like mtu pale akitokea na ni mtu ako like being black people yeah. well 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 komoja uko among the black people yeah, ataona ti african black 
white. Ataona, you're black, so... And it's something that I think I, I had forgotten. Usually when you come to the US, you think, uh, I am just a new person here. Mm -hmm. So you try to greet everybody the same way. Yeah. But you quickly are reminded that, hey, you are of a different skin color. Yeah. I think that's a realization that every African gets or any dark skinned person gets. Yeah. I mean it's reality. It's it's not it's nothing a secret. <coughs> you're quickly reminded by the society that hey, yes you're a new person, but more to that yeah. you have a dark skin. You're black. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, and and to explain this further, if somebody from Europe with a light skin comes to the US and somebody from Africa comes to the US both of them will have a different experience. experience the yeah. black person will quickly learn, by the way, my skin color means something. Yeah. The guy from Europe will just continue life and not even realize there's anything that has changed other than the ge geography. Yeah. So I think it's very important and yeah. I mean, you can't ignore it. So it's better to know that, hey, I, I'm of a different skin color and I need to be aware of such and such things. Yeah. And so, uh, it doesn't mean we live in fear or anything. Mm -hmm. It's just that we're more aware, like with the decisions we make. Yeah. And it's not alarming enough, uh, at least, to be like, hey, you know, you can't go outside. No, we're not saying that. We're just saying we are well aware that yeah. we are of a different skin color, and people notice that. Yeah. 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 Me like. Yeah, very important. Yeah, yeah. Drew, for some reason, me to try to ignore. Like, yeah. I'm African, I Which know is I'm how African, it should be. I'm Kenyan, mm -hmm. kuskia, like, but after a while, I love to the black history, oh, the yeah. whole stories. Yeah. Oh, una kumbuka, una jua, you're black. Yeah. When I come to the realization that. You're black. Yeah. Mm. I love what you apply for jobs. Mm. Oh, they make you, they make you, as I say, they make you. Last more tick yeah. that you're black. Yeah. And then, <laughs> like, application your job in a kujanga and you kind of what what is your skin color? As in, you go one of those things, they call it. They shout to you. What? I yeah. need to write this? Yeah. Ju ati nainandi kwa kukando, hiya itakufanya ati usi. For this job, yeah, at it, it affect anything, mm. but he go up on me and Shanga. But anyway, London's are records, London, you are drew a Coca Cola, maybe fire, yeah. but there were two black people, <laughs> five white people. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah, you last more we take a work, a work, a work, a apply for jobs, yeah, yeah. Oh, and something else the fact that I am a photographer. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's Jay Fanakazi. I have done a job. Mm. I have been employed before. Oh, yeah. I have. Yeah. I think twice. This time, in fact, twice. Yeah. Maybe employer. Is. So the first, after Nikuje, mm -hmm. it's the same story. Yeah. So after Nikuje, right after Nikuje, the next day, mm. <laughs> <laughs> after after we, we came, after we talked from the other city we were, we came here. Martin Akane Zungusha around a place to Kaona. So to Kanda, to Kapeleka, I think Sutiako called dry cleaner or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when we went to the dry <laughs> when we went to the dry cleaner to Kafika, Alafu, Martin Akasalima, the lady, she was Asian. Oh. Well, yeah. Yeah. She was Asian. Martin Akasalima Kamumia. Oh, and my wife is new here. Mm -hmm. Do you have a job for her? And <laughs> 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 go, what, baby? What? <laughs> so yeah. Start to work. Yeah, uh, immediately. <laughs> Nico got a job. So the yeah. next day, I can remember into the next day, and kind of for like two days. Yeah. Hey, then the lady drew a call like right outside an air force base. Yeah. I can't I can't talk about every time. Then the cousin and I'm be Hey, if you want to become a citizen very fast, join the military, join yeah. the military. Don't come here wash clothes, no. I can't insist. I can't go sort the clothes. So then I sort, I panga panga. I found a kuche and I pata. You're very young. You're very young. You need to join the military. 
Eh, yeah. alikuwa anaona kama hataki ni waste time nikifanya other jobs. Yeah. Ati ni join military mm. ili ni kwa citizen. Yeah. Araka so I could join military you become citizen very fast. Yeah. Ati ni at immediately after basic training you become citizen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I mean afterwards and I'm every day and I'm very alafu the next time I can be you need to just join me little don't come here. Don't don't come here. No, I don't want you. Yeah. You're 20. It'll go I think 20 cars. You what? Mm. You're 20. What? Whatever. Yeah. 20 something and you're doing job here. No, 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 no. You need to join military. <laughs> Yeah. So can you don't come back mm -hmm. and I'll call you. Yeah. She never called. She never back. she never called. So to kinda oh Martin I kinda kapel my pay, my first pay. Yeah, I went to pick up my suit and Oh your suit. She gave me her the money she had made. So yeah, I just call like Jaka. Like he recall like it was such an easy job. I recall like to go a suit here, you put them in the car. Mm -hmm. so nylon papers, take them and put them in the car. That was my job. We go now to pick a pass, we go on a whole like we need, but since I only just to take them, put them in the car. Take yeah. them, put them in the car. That's all I did. So I left for the second job. I got a second job. Mm -hmm. I used to work in a kitchen. Yeah. I think we mentioned before, I used to work in a kitchen for eight, around almost nine months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so my job was to do the dishes. Yeah. Clean the floor assist the head cook and and the assistant cook mm -hmm. Man, that Tough job she complained in, every day yeah i, I did but uh, as in it was hard yeah so it's at a sweat mm -hmm. Pia maji ni mpata oh, maji, yeah. viatu zimejam maji yeah sweat mm -hmm. ni sweat I love to say that at the same time, Nalan could drive in the US. So Martin oh, could, like yeah. after job, Martin and Bia saw Ingia could drive could drive. I feel like each job already many chosha. Ningia ni drive already ni in any chokesha kili could drive. Jute is see Kenya. I love my barabara ni mingi na ni complicated. So many roads. I love Sasa. Me burden your new wife, like we quite new to this cooking thing. Mm -hmm. Ni fike ni say dear cook any pique man. Yeah. And that's where understanding comes in. So eventually after seeing uh, how much the job was affecting her well being, she wasn't happy. Oh, so yeah, we I made the decision happy. that uh, and and for me I thought I was allowing her to at least integrate in the US, get to know people get to experience a job but it was doing more damage than helping and so mm. and it wasn't even about the money I wanted you to experience but the, it was a bad experience so we agreed that she quit yeah and she's been happy ever since I've been so happy <laughs> oh man I am a yeah. happy woman happy wife yeah yeah she ate your job eh? mm -hmm. it was hard yeah as in, oh, something else in the contact mm -hmm. summer. I think Kenyans, in, when you're in Kenya, mm -hmm. you think that it was not good for Oh, yeah. As in, you keep your kazi and funny and be funny so easily. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was saying, mm -hmm. this lady you used to do Anakuja. She was a teacher, but sometimes kitchen stuff, or kikosa are cool enough, a teacher comes. You will call a school or kindergarten or something. So, teachers want to come from class, on to say to the kitchen. That lady, ooh, wee. And I find a car. Ako kazi, ako fast. Ana maliza, ana ana clean, ana. Me ni ko like hey, na like ko afraid to sit in there to ko like ko gum or sit in there to let them do. There's people that can work. Yeah. Ah, so me work from when they were six, fifteen, I think sometimes. Sixteen. Ata ako na fifteen. I'm not sure. Kido kido ko afraid to clean yards, gym fire, me ni ko a few pennies. But 16, when I drew, I may work from 16. Yeah. Women are going to work at 20. Yeah. Now 19. Yeah. So photography, maybe 19. So when I was like 19, I'm 16. Um, say I'm 16. I call 26. I may call like 10 years of experience in oh, yeah. job. Yeah. Um, I call like two, three years of experience. Yeah. Now you think, you think, when I how to 
kushinda hawa tu kazi ah uh-uh. yeah uh-uh. iyo ni sijui nani alikama kuna hiyo mentality i yeah. had that mentality false but eh ah ah yeah as they work which is a good thing because mm-hmm. it, it, it challenges you when you work alongside these people yeah. and it makes you get on your toes eh so, yeah. you try kushinda like yeah. I try yeah. Yeah, but anyway yeah so yeah so we hope uh, we've answered all your questions yeah. well enough mm-hmm. uh, if you have any more more questions feel please. free to ask mm-hmm. and then we can do another video yep. and answer them so with that Do you have anything else for mm-hmm. the people? We are out. We are out. Enjoy. Bye. And be blessed. Be blessed. Out.